at a point a 20 meters above the level of water in a lake the angle of elevation of a cloud is 30 degrees the angle of depression of the reflection of the cloud in the lake at a is 60 degrees now see if we we'll consider this as a lake pq at a point a at this point the angle of elevation of a cloud at this point the angle of elevation of a cloud is 30 degrees so this angle is 30 degrees and the angle of depression of its reflection see this is the height of the cloud so at a point 20 meters okay now angle of depression of the cloud see depression this lake will act like a plane mirror this is 20 meters this lake act like a plane mirror then angle of depression of the cloud cloud also image cloud image will be at the same height so it will be at the same height of the cloud from lake to the cloud is the height of the cloud so the angle of depression of the cloud in the lake is 60 degrees so here this depression is 60 degrees so we need to find the distance between the cloud from a so distance of this cloud from a so we need to find this i'll consider it as x so now a this is b this is q so a b i'll consider as a horizontal surface so angle of elevation is 30 angle of depression is 60 see the point of observation is 20 meters above the lake so the height of the cloud will be 40 meters but in this question they are not asking the height of the cloud they are asking the distance of the cloud from the point of observation so we need to find x so first see here this a b i'll consider it as y horizontal distance i'll consider it as y a b equals p q equals i'll consider it as y and given you can write like here angle c a b is 30 degrees angle b a you can consider it as d angle b a d is 60 degrees a p is 20 meters so if this is 20 then this total is h so b c will be h minus 20 and when i'll take 60 degrees in triangle b a d i need b d b d will be h plus 20 h plus 20 now take both the triangles triangle a b c tan theta opposite by adjacent tan theta tan 30 is opposite is h minus 20 by adjacent is y tan 30 is 1 by root 3 is h minus 20 by y if we'll cross multiply y equals h minus 20 into root 3 this you make it as equation 1 now i'll take triangle b a d in the tan 60 tan theta 60 is opposite opposite is like b d that is h plus 20 and adjacent will be y so if you want you can write b d by a b so tan 60 is root 3 b d is h plus 20 and a b is same y if you we'll cross multiply y equals h plus 20 by root 3 i'm writing both the equations in terms of y so that i can equate now now i'll equate these two equations so you'll get h minus 20 into root 3 h plus 20 by root 3 root 3 into root 3 is 3 is h plus 20 now 3 h minus 3 into 20 60 equals h plus 20 on transposing 3h minus h equals 20 plus 60 so now 2h equals 80 therefore the height is 40 meters 80 by 20 80 by 2 is 40 meters 
see at what point of observation we are observing the height of the cloud will be double if the angles are 30 and 60 but they are not asking the height they are asking the distance from the point a to the cloud so they are asking x now see we got the value of h so you can take theta okay you can use the same thing opposite by hypotenuse so in triangle abc sin theta is opposite by hypotenuse here opposite is bc hypotenuse is ac angle is sin 30 sin 30 bc is h minus 20 by x we need to find x so h value is just now we got 40 we will substitute 1 by 2 equals 40 minus 20 by x so if you we'll cross multiply so x equals or x equals 40 minus 20 is 20 into 2 20 into 2 so x is 40 x is 40 meters so here therefore one second the value of x is 40 meters so the distance of the cloud from a is 40 meters so here the height of the cloud is also 40 the distance from the observation to the cloud is also 40 meters see height is this but in this triangle don't think height and hypotenuse cannot be seen but here opposite is only b minus b to c hypotenuse is ac so this value is 20 so as the angle is 30 sin 30 is 1 by 2 opposite is 40 minus 20 which is 20 by hypotenuse is x so sin 30 opposite by hypotenuse we got the distance from a to c is 40 meters